like uh, this week. I just came back after the sickness I had the week before, and I just felt like I, to, I owed the team with my effort, and so that's what I did. You also said even though you a couple guys left the team, you thought you guys got closer. Did you? I mean, yeah, we for sure did. We lost, a, we lost a couple guys that we loved, but you know, we got to, we just got to keep going, and we love both those dudes, but we got to keep going. We gonna ride with, we gonna ride with. How far have you come just when you think about when you got here? Um, I feel like this came a long way, but it's not even close to the potential I have just because I need to get in the weight room and, you know, get in the system more and get used to everything, get used to college and stuff like that. But I feel like I, I took great strides from this one to now. Yeah. You see that guys like you and Adrian are just both true freshmen. I mean, how exciting does it get thinking about maybe what this can be down the road for you guys back there? I mean, it gets real exciting. You know, it's kind of frustrating, though, just because you know how, how good we are now. It's kind of hard. You can't get over that hump just to get a win. But the fact of the matter is we're going to be great regardless, no matter if it's now or later. So it's, that's exciting to look forward to. You talked about JD's game that he had tonight and what he just brings every game, these big games for the team. The thing about JD is, I love JD because I don't gotta worry about JD. I don't gotta worry about JD because I know he's gonna go out there, he's gonna play, he's gonna score, and he's gonna do what he needs to do to help his team and get us a win. And that's what I love about him. He's a competitor and he works hard. And so yeah, it's, it's good that we can count on him. Are they starting to sort of draw, draw more things up for you in the offensive game plan, or has your workload increased in practice? Um, my workload it's increased just because you know the situation that we're in, but. I don't think they draw plays up for me intentionally. I think this is just Coach Frost's offense, and they did the same thing with the uh, the players they did at UCF, and so I just fit into the system that he had, and I just run the plays that they tell me. With just you and Divine, though, does does it make it a little bit easier just knowing it's a two-man rotation versus trying to maybe work three guys in a game? I mean, easier easier is an interesting word to use. I wouldn't say easier. I just know that. If anything, that just makes it harder because I know that, look, I got to pick this up. I can't make mistakes. I can't get tired. I can't do stuff like that. So if anything, it makes it harder, but that's what I love about it because I know I'm going to show up and I know I'm going to do whatever I can to help the team. Did you expect to get as much as an opportunity that you got tonight? Oh, yeah. We talked about it all week. In the kind of week of practice I had, we knew that I was going to have to play a big role in this game. And that's what I was How's your head? I was fine. That, that hit didn't hurt. It didn't hurt. What you tell? Did you say anything to the guy after he hit you? Nah, he was injected instantly. I don't know what happened to him.